on adventurers we are here at wzla radio in abbeville south carolina and we got to spend the morning at the radio station patty and margie and lee triana were all here and did an interview with benji and lacy it was pretty awesome and if you guys didn't see it you'll have a chance to go back in the archives and check it out and of course you're going to see part of it in the video <laughs> good friday morning to you welcome to the abbeville first bank southern fraud morning show right here on wzla 92.9 fm your home for classic country here in the lakelands area i'm benji that's lacy good morning good morning we have a jam-packed studio in this morning we're gonna go around and, all females uh, all females all females i am completely outnumbered <laughs> in here today um we've got uh we got marjorie say hello hello <laughs> <laughs> we've got pat hello we've got Leetriana. yo yo in the house <laughs> And we got Jen uh, running the uh, running the camera back here. So, uh, hello, Jen. What's going on? Yeah, it's a uh, it's going to be a fun show here. We got Pat here with G Team Paranormal Investigators, and, uh, and she's from Florida. Yeah, yeah, she's from Florida. So I wanna, let me start there. Okay. <laughs> How in the world did you find Abbeville? <laughs> well, I was looking up haunted locations a couple of years ago, actually, and found the Belmont Inn, okay. and I called to see if I could get in there, and at the time they, they weren't allowing people to come in and do that, the, the owner, owners at the time. A couple of years later, which was just a couple months ago, my friend Jen over here yeah. in the studio with us, she reached out to them, and when she told me, I about fell over. I was like, oh my God, how did you do it? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to go there. Something was drawing me yeah. to that place, and she felt the same way. And we were just there like a month and a half ago, and we're back. Wow. And we're back again. And that we is, brought a lot of people. That was really, really cool. Pat, tell me a little bit about how you do what you do. Um, do you use a lot of electronics, a lot of technology, or do, are you just, uh, is it an intuition type thing for you? A little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, intuition, uh, feelings, you know, the feelings, the intuitive feelings that I get. Um, when I go into a place, I can usually, as soon as I walk in, I can tell that it's haunted mm -hmm. um, or not. And um, most of the places I go to, I already know that they're haunted, of course. But uh, I use modern technology, uh, spirit box, EMF meters, and uh, the REM pod is my favorite. Now that will light up, and Marjorie got to witness that um, the last time I was here. It was room. crazy. It was like crazy. In one particular room. Yeah. And, that, and that was at the Belmont. Yes, at yeah. the Belmont. I use a spirit box, I use tape recorders. I have three different spirit boxes that I use. Okay. Um, so I have a lot of equipment. Yeah. But I have my favorites too. Right. But uh, I can hear disembodied voices through my ears. I pick them up through the camera as well, quite a bit. What is the name of the box that Jen used? I made that graphic like. <laughs> <laughs> the Necrophonic. She uses the Necrophonic, Necrophonic. app. And it's an actual, actual app that you can purchase on your phone. It's $10, but it's one of the best apps. It is amazing. Do you like Ghost Radar on uh, Apple? Music? I like Patty it. uses that. I do too. I like it a lot. And there's yes. a lot of TV shows that uses Ghost yes. app. And it's a free one. It's Ghost free. Radar. Ooh, let me turn it on. What's uh? <laughs> Pat, what, you what, was your, what was your first uh, paranormal experience and how did you really kind of get started into doing what you're doing? I want everybody to answer that question. Okay. So, uh, we'll start with Pat. I've always believed in ghosts because I've seen them since I was little. Okay. But my son passed away in 2015 and uh, after he passed away, probably within a week, we started, me and my daughter both, when I say we, started experiencing hearing him come through the radio. Um, when the radio was on, uh, right. the TV, the TV would start doing, you know, getting fuzzy and we'd hear his voice come through the TV. Um, he was wow. doing everything he could to let us know he was okay. Yeah. And um, then um, we caught him on camera a couple of times at the cemetery in the background. You could see an image of him. Um, and just so many things. I could go on and on, but so many things happened. Mm -hmm. And we started capturing a lot of things on camera. So. After about six months of this, we decided to go ahead and start a YouTube channel and put out some of this content that, that we caught on camera. Right. Him. Now, I want to plug this for a second. You, the YouTube channel you're talking about it's now. The G Team Paranormal Investigators yes. on YouTube. And, and you're, you're clicking on 400,000 followers mm -hmm. on this wow. channel. Almost, yes. Almost yeah. a half a million followers. Wow. In, the, in, in that four crazy. years' time. 
Incredible. Thank you. Incredible. Well, she's the real thing. Well, you know, there's yeah, a lot of yeah. them that are Hollywooded yeah. up out there. She doesn't yeah, do that. I'm Hers is genuine up. evidence. No, one thing that I feel like that I'm good at is spotting genuine people. Mm-hmm. I can tell if you're feeding me a line just like that. Mm-hmm. And I, every single one of you in here is just as genuine and yeah. real as possible. I mean, I... I I, I appreciate that. that. I get yeah. that. I sure do. So Margie, Margie, you know, um, we were talking about uh, cemetery investigations and all this. Why would a ghost want to hang around in a cemetery? I'm thinking if I die and I'm a ghost, we going to Vegas, baby. I mean, there is, you know, the world's your at your at your fingertips, I guess. Why do you think that cemeteries are so active in this type of thing? Well. I don't believe that they hang out there all the time. I believe that they can come and go. They can be anywhere they want to be. And I, I believe that they know when someone's at their grave. Mm-hmm. You just have to be very respectful. Don't provoke. Uh, yeah, don't provoke. Don't provoke. Don't provoke. Yes. Yeah. There's some people out there that do provoke them. And I, I'm, I'm against that. I don't As like am that. I. Yeah. I'm, I'm that totally makes me really it. mad. Mm-hmm. It makes me mad, too. They were once living human beings just like us. Right. And to go in and disrespect them and talk to them like they're just nothing and be mean, Absolutely. I don't like that. And yeah. for those investigators listening right now that do that, I dare you to go to a Native yeah. American burial ground and do that. <laughs> I'd love to see how you sleep at night. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you might get a tomahawk. And you, yeah. <laughs> you start losing your right. hair, yes. you'll know it's been scrapped. Right. <laughs> don't disrespect. Right. Do you have a a um, label that you would yes, label I'm, yourself? Or? I'm empathic. I always have been. Uh, in, very intuitive. Um, messenger, <laughs> like you said, messenger. Uh, I feel like I was meant to do this. I feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. Um, sharing with the world that that spirits, your your loved ones, may be gone from the physical world, but they're still around and they still see you. They can still interact with you. They can still hear you. Um, they can still comfort you. And I 100% believe that. I have always been in the belief that the, whatever you want to call it, spiritual world, the other realm, that there is a very thin, mm-hmm. thin yes, veil, veil between yes. where we are, yeah. where I can touch right. me, yes. and the other side. And the veil is thinning every day. Every day. Every day. Why do you think that is? Um, Because more people are becoming aware. Um, People are evolving spiritually. Mm -hmm. There's a mystical side of religion. There's a mystical side of Christianity. This doesn't go against it. If anything, it proves right. it. It yeah. does. I totally agree. I, I've been called a devil worshiper. Oh, I, I'm not a devil worshiper. I'm a paranormal investigator. Right. I, I've been called uh, ridiculed and called things too. You know, um, I've had blocked so many people from my channel because oh my of the nasty I comments. Yeah. I cannot imagine. All right, somebody with your following, and if you didn't catch us in the first segment, uh, Pat had her YouTube channel. There's there's almost half a million people on that follows her, her on YouTube. Um, People use social media to say whatever they want to say. Exactly. And yeah. be safe to say whatever. They yeah. 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 Keyboard warriors is what I call them. Yep, me too. And uh, mm. we've talked about this before because yeah. people use social media now mm. in a way that years back, you know, you said that right. to somebody's face, you got right. hit. Right. <laughs> exactly. so now it's like, there's a safety behind yep. behind the screen there. So I cannot imagine. The, the vile stuff that it's uh, that been through. pretty bad. There's well, some, there's people that will set up fake accounts just to troll you, just to yeah. just to, to harass and to ridicule you, um, <laughs> things like that. Uh, it's it's uh, been pretty bad at times, but you know I can block them. Luckily, I can block them. Um, I have Twitter and I have Instagram. You can follow me on there too under the G Team Pi. Okay. Um, and uh, but you know I just keep on going. I'm not gonna let them bring me down. That's right. You know? This is our spiritual journey. <laughs> yeah. Now we've been getting evidence in here. In fact, Margie's got a spirit standing right beside her. Your phone is ringing, even though it's disconnected. It's unplugged. <laughs> it's unplugged. Yeah. So oh, funny. Look, really? there's two yeah. right yeah, there. It's right. so busy. He unplugged. It's still ringing. Yeah. So, so that's why you held that look on your face. While we're trying to have a conversation here, the, the phone is blowing up. And God bless all of you. Thank you for calling. Um, uh, 
there's just not enough time to squeeze everybody in, and I don't, I don't want to take away from, from their time giving their message. So we'll come to the Ghost Walk. We'll be out there by the Belmont, and yes. we'll talk to you. So yeah, I'll I'll say, you know, but the crazy thing is, is here in studio, we have what's called a flasher, which that the phone doesn't ring, it just flashes. So I unplug the phone. This literally happened a minute and a half ago. I unplugged the phone. <laughs> he lost like, so the color in his face by that, yeah, second. Yeah. So that they could talk without, you know, being interrupted. The phone still rang. And the cord's <laughs> right there. <laughs> that just happened. Well, I want to interrupt just one second. My Literally, my phone is melting here. Uh, these are the, this is a text we get. We have a text line, 262-864-0929. Uh, I'm just, I'm flustered, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, best guests ever, in my opinion. I can listen to them all day. That's a text that comes Thank across. You. Uh, we get another text that says, I've got chills with y'all all over. <laughs> listen, Just listening to y'all talk. That's awesome. Another one comes in and says, this stuff is super interesting to listen. Uh, the show is awesome this morning. So there's Thanks. like four, I could Thank read you. 20 more, but there was, there was like four texts right there that awesome. came in. So, And when you come over to the uh, uh, Belmont purchase a book or whatever you can also get a ghost hunter's cocktail no. oh yeah, yeah. Judson made one yes. just for you and Jen yes. <laughs> it's a ghost hunter it's martini nice. right yeah, yes a ghost hunter yes. martini and ghost JP's martini. Um, I see that in my future <laughs> <laughs> well you see the uh, <laughs> But it's a ghost hunter martini that he yeah. made just for yeah. Jen and and that's so sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have any idea how good it feels to be able to be accepted and be able to be free to see the history and the mystery of oh, Belmont? Oh man, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. I hope this is going to be a lifetime for yeah. Abigail. Yeah. So we, all, we, do, we do have to wrap it up here. Again, thank y'all so much. I think everybody listened, thoroughly enjoyed that, and uh, we'll do it again, no doubt. Yes. Thank Absolutely. you. All for right. Having us. All right, so we're going to jump out and take us a 68-hour break. We'll be back dark and early, 6 to 10 a.m. Monday morning for another edition of the Abbeville First Bank Southern Fraud Morning Show. Everybody love everybody. For Lacey Yates, I'm Benji Greeson. Say bye, Lacey. Bye, Lacey. Bye, Lacey. Bye, Lacey. <laughs> bye, Lacey. Bye, Lacey. I think I'll go home now. We are back at the Belmont in Abbeville, South Carolina. It is so beautiful here. If you have not had the chance to visit, I highly recommend it. We are getting ready to take a tour and check out all of the cool hot spots here at the hotel. As you know, Patty and I were here about a month ago and we just couldn't stay away, guys. We had to come back, so we are back. And of course, we decided to take you with us again. So let's go. Everybody is in the bar currently checking out the cocktails and in case you didn't know, we have our very own cocktail here called the Ghost Hunter Martini. It's amazing. So let's go check it out. What you got there, Patty? I got a Ghost Hunter Martini. So the reason why they call it that is because there's a cherry at the bottom. You find it when you finish the drink. That's a good thing. It's pretty cool. Drunk. <laughs> How many have you had, Patty? Just one. But I don't drink so. She's a lightweight. I am too. I had literally half of one last time, and I was already getting tipsy. We're about to take a tour of the Belmont Hotel and get some history on the entire hotel and some ghost stories about the place and about the rooms and things like that. So that's what we're all going to do. Are y'all excited? Woo!
Yes. Um, you see this lady right here? She is called the Wandering Widow. She has been seen walking through here. Nobody knows her name. Nobody knows why she's here, but she's dressed like a widow. And she's seen walking between here and there. Now this area used to be um, the carriage house. It wasn't always close in, but it was a carriage house where they would bring the carriages in. If they needed, I, I hate to say change flat tire because they were wooden, but um, they would repair the carriages here. Or a lot of times the drivers would drop, drop the ladies off around the square um, at, to go shopping and they would come here to water and feed the horses, okay? Because you know it took a lot longer to get to places with horse and buggy. Um, behind here, you see the wrought iron gates right there? If you take a right between the clock and the gate, that leads you to the dirt room. Um, Jen and Patty and I investigated the dirt room and they'll tell you some stories about that later on. There was activity in there. Um, the most infamous spirit that is said to be here at the Belmont, other than the Wandering Widow, because I think it's about a tie, is Abraham. Yeah. Abraham was a um, doorman, not a bellhop, he was a doorman. Yeah. Um, he was an older black gentleman, middle aged until, you know, he worked here forever and ever and ever. And um, he's been known to rattle doorknobs. Who had the doorknob rattle last night? Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. <laughs> it was probably Abraham just checking on you. Mm -hmm. But um, that's another story here. Um, some people that work here have had experience. Others say, um, I've never had an experience. Others say, I'm scared to death. I don't want to know anything about ghosts. So, you know, there's all different kinds of people. And different spirits are attracted to different people's soul light, I think. You know, what you may see or experience, or you, or you, or you, or anybody, may not appear to me. So I'm not going to get, you know, I'm not going to say, I don't fail nothing, so ain't nothing here. No. <laughs> it's, it's something, you know, I am not all wonderful. You know, but if something appears to you or shows themselves to you, they may have a message for you or for someone else. So that's how I believe. And I think Patty and Jen totally agree. agree. Absolutely, yeah. 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 And, I don't think that was it. Nice to meet you. Hey, Patrick. 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 Yeah, okay, we got you. Just want to make sure I introduce myself to everybody. It's a southern lane, y'all. If y'all are from the northern states, you will find out this weekend what southern hospitality is. It's sweet tea and everybody's speaking to you. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> we're glad you're here. We're glad you're at the reputedly most haunted hotel in South Carolina. Um, you want to go into JP's now? Sure. Okay. Let's go. Some of y'all have already been in JP's Food and Spirits. Really? Hey, everybody watching. Um, this is Lee Brown, Family Spirit. Hey, everybody. And thank you so much. This uh, is Judson. He's the innkeeper. He's an awesome bartender. It's JP. He's named after the owner of the gym. And there is said to be a younger um, African-American male who was in love with a white girl way back in the day when that was not accepted. He was waiting one night on her and people say he's still waiting because he mysteriously disappeared after she told her cousin that they were going to meet and run away and go to the door. Um, and nobody ever saw him again in the physical world. But it's Lord, said, you know, you'll see shadows down through here. My three-year-old granddaughter, I don't even talk to her about that stuff. And she goes, Mimar, you see the shadows? So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so that's the story down here. This used to be called Tinker's Alley. Because when people would travel, you know what a tinker is? A wandering salesperson or a traveling salesperson? They would bring their goods and set it up in here. And while people would, you know, park their carriage or go shopping, they would come through here. And this hotel, um, the Belmont Inn, um, it was originally. Jason, what was the name of the original hotel here? 
It was the Eureka. Eureka! Eureka. I just wanted to hear him say that. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Eureka. It was built in 1903. At the time, it cost $30,000 to be. It got in disarray. Um, it was almost demolished, but some people saved it with the Historic Preservation Society. And if you happen to see a disembodied apparition, well, an apparition, or hear a disembodied voice, it may be somebody from that time. And it may be that um, you only see half their body because the stairwell and different things and rooms are in different places. So we don't know the original um, blueprint of the building. So I just, I'm ADHD and they started playing music. So I had to do that. But yeah, this, um, not too much. Ashing Twins, they used to travel. They would come from New York to Atlanta and Abbeville was halfway in between. They would stop here and they would do productions at the Abbeville Opera House, which is the state uh, theater. Well, um, there's been a lot of experiences, way too many, way too many to name, but that's one of the stories of you. Okay? And um, if you are in room 5, 11, okay. <laughs> Any experiences? Not yet. Not yet. How long have you been here? Not long. <laughs> I said yet. Yes. <laughs> um, 26 is the room that Patty and Jen investigated last time. And I've heard room 24 had some door knob issues. Um, did you tell them what was in our room when we got there? Oh, we had handprints on the uh, blanket at the foot of the bed. You can see two handprints, like they were adjusting the blanket for our stay. It was really nice. And then uh, her footsteps down the hall, and there's nobody out there. Yeah. So there's things that happen here. Now, are you guaranteed an experience here? No. If you're open to it, chances are this is reputedly the most haunted hotel in South Carolina. If you do, please share it with us. And I think later tonight you're going to do a rim pod? Yes. yes. Okay. And then everybody investigates their own room? Yeah, and I'm going to do a live stream. Okay. Um, from okay. that, from the media room. Down and thank you again for hosting this. Y'all do. Patty! There's been sightings. There's been audio. There's been visual. There's been um, smelling things. What? Somebody has smelled perfume, somebody has smelled cigar, you smell perfume, cigars. Um, and again, this building was built in 1903, and it was almost dilapidated. They were going to demolish it. Somebody stepped in and refurbished it. Then it's been through five or six owners since then. So, like I said, I think the stairwells have been there, but the rooms are on different, different levels. And the room numbers, we don't know what the room numbers were way back then. Uh, right there in front of Lucy, Lucy, will you raise your arm and hand? Um, there is a book there that goes through the history of the Belmont. Oh, wow. It was originally the Eureka, now it's the Belmont Inn. That is really neat. I, I can hold it up, but like. But it gives you the information if you have any questions. So tell the story about the lady at the opera house. Yes. Okay, so y'all remember me telling you downstairs? that the traveling troops, it is so humid, <laughs> and I am so hot. Um, there was a lady in a traveling troop. She was an actress, a very young actress. Again, between New York and Atlanta. Abbeville is the middle ground. This is where they stopped. This is where the acting troops stayed. They would do their play over the opera house, and they would stay here, okay? Well, this young actress, she was very ill. I don't know from what, but she was sick. She was not able to perform, but she was weak. But she made her way over to the Abbeville Opera House, which has three stories of its own. It's in the book, Abbeville's Back. But, <laughs> but she went over and watched them from the balcony. When the uh, performance was over, she gave them a standing ovation. Okay? She came back over here and passed away. She is said to haunt here as well as the Abbeville Opera House and more often over there she's been seen. They even have a special chair on the balcony that has a little light. If you turn the light off or move her chair, she doesn't like it and things start to happen. So we 
but she did pass away here. There was also a soldier um, that got into an argument with the sheriff. I think it was a soldier. He might have just been a man. I'll have to go back and look. But he, um, he and the sheriff had an altercation, and he got shot. He came back here, oh, and he bled. He just asked me a little bit ago, Andrew, if somebody was shot in the front room out there. And I said, I don't know. He went up to his room where he passed away. Oh my God. We are outside of the Belmont Inn in beautiful Abbeville, South Carolina. They're getting ready to do a book signing over here. And I'm gonna take you guys a little bit closer and introduce you to the authors in just a few minutes. It looks like the Headless Horseman has decided to make an appearance here at the Belmont. So if you come by, be sure to check him out and get a photo op. It's pretty awesome. So I love that the Belmont is located so close to everything here in Abbeville. It's a small town and I love that. I love the feeling of this town. This right here is the square and I love how it's got the, the brick streets. It's very cool guys. You're definitely gonna have to take an opportunity to come visit the Belmont. Nicest people that I have ever met. The Southern hospitality is real. And I just, I really can't get enough of this, this town square here. Very cool. Love the architecture of the opera house. I'm going to show you that right now. So here's the opera house right here. And then there is the Belmont. So guys, you already know Margie Linnell from some previous videos and also from the radio station video that we filmed yesterday. Uh, she's going to just show you her books real quick that you guys already know about, but she's got her new children's book as well that doesn't have anything to do with the paranormal, but it's just as amazing. So go ahead, Margie, tell them what's up. Oh, okay. Well, the ghost stories of Uptown Greenwood, Apparitions of Abbeville are part of the history and mystery of the South Carolina Lakelands, Amazon.com, and the, uh, it's Marjorie Linnell is the author. That's me. My friends call me Margie, but I'm, my pen name is Marjorie Linnell. This is the cutest little book. Uh, a 14 year old illustrated this book and her name is Jordis Works and she lives in North Carolina and um, artwork is kind of part of her therapy and she rocks. All right guys so this is Lee Triana Brown aka Lee. Um, <laughs> she's got her book here that she's going to talk to you guys about for just a minute and you're probably a little bit familiar with her already if you've seen the radio interview so she's going to tell you a little bit about her book. Go ahead Lee. Hey, my name is Lee Triana Brown. I'm trying to get enough YouTube subscribers so I can go live so you can see all my adventures. Go subscribe. We're going to have so much fun. So this is my book. It's called Family Spirit, The Origins of Four Generations of the Supernatural. Since I have been here and hanging out with these guys, I found out there's a lot more people like this. I'm so glad that I really told my story because spiritual gifts do go through the generations. I'm telling the story of my family. There's um, four more books to come and I really hope that you'll, you'll enjoy it. You can find this on Amazon or you can reach out to me and I'll mail it to you. I'll write something on the inside and I'll do a, a reading just for you. Just, you know, two, three cards, but I'll do it with love. Thank Pretty amazing. So Be sure to go to Amazon.com and check out Marjorie Linnell and her books and Lee Triana Brown and her book. And she has some more, they both have more coming. That's amazing. Thank you. You're amazing. Oh, yes, thank you so thank much, you guys. Thank you for helping us so much. Oh, we appreciate that. Thank you. All right, guys. So we are currently on the veranda at the Belmont, and they're now offering a Saturday brunch, which is a new thing. They've only been doing it for about three weeks now. So I just want to show you what I got. I got a fried chicken sandwich, and it came with a side of fries. And of course, you know how to get the sweet tea, because the sweet tea here is the business. What's this? It's the bomb. It is rough. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Lula, I mean, we'll have her, we'll have her doing intros and outros for us by the time she leaves her patty. She's gonna get over. She's gonna get over it real quick. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to get a pic. Or there's gonna be a picture. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. <laughs> so Taz, what did you get? I got the turkey sandwich, and I'm ordering it right now. All right. It's pretty good, huh? Yes, it's really good. All right. So. This is what I got. I haven't even looked at it yet. Y'all getting the first book before I get to look at it. Look at those pickles. 
That's what I'm talking about. Look, at Chick-fil-A, I always get extra pickles, so I had to do it here too. Well, here is the lady of the hour. Hey, I'm Susan. This, this is, this is the my owner. Daughter, Alice. And this is her daughter. She, she had to turn into a server. I know. Awesome, thank she you. She owns a salon, a, a lower salon in Spine. Oh, South Carolina. well. She's an esthetician, so y'all need oh, facial nice. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> and we have a hairdresser and a nail tech. Yeah. Both are my daughters. And Amy, Amy and Mary Ann. That's and great. Mary Ann. <laughs> so you those three people that are twice. Yeah, like, those are. Go get you a spray <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Look at these two with their mimosas, Patty and Patrice. Pinkies up, pinkies up, bitches. <laughs> okay, check out this Bloody Mary with the bacon on top and the shrimp. This is amazing. Wow. Wow. That is brunch right there. <laughs> that is brunch right there all in one glass. It's got a pepper, olive. Is that, is that a pickle? Whoops. Yeah. Wow. That is incredible. And the mimosas are amazing. There's another, yep, right next to it. Okay, I've got a spinach, cheese, tomato and mushroom omelet with whole wheat toast and some grits. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, guys, check out this epic shrimp cocktail that Stephanie got. It looks amazing. It does. Enjoy. I am. So guys, I'm currently live streaming, but I'm also filming a little bit. We've got Fluffy here, Rebecca G, M is a gem, and Patty from the G team. And the REM pot is going crazy right now. Look at that. Look at that. K2 meter was going pretty, well, the K2 meter is still going pretty crazy, guys, as you can see. Look at this. Wow. Holy crap. It's all wrapped the full red. Look at this. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Wow. And it's far enough away from our electronics. It shouldn't be doing that. Oh, Lucid's here. This room is extremely high. Hi. Hi. Um, my camera got really blurry. Stop. Charlie, are you here with us tonight? What? Charles, are you with us? If you guys didn't see Patty's TikTok yet, you've got to go check it out from the Halloween party the other night. It was pretty awesome. I'm not going to give it away. Go check it out. Yeah, you got to go check it out on the G-Team PI on TikTok. It is uh, the grand entrance of Lou and Lucid at the Halloween ball that we had last night here. It's pretty cool. Oh I posted God. it on Twitter and Instagram too today. So. It was amazing. It was. Hands down the best costumes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Y'all were rocking it. Wait, that was a costume party? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was blue and natural. I thought that was loose every day. day. No idea that because it came so naturally. Yeah. yeah. We had no idea that you guys were gonna do that, so that made it all more fun yeah. for us, you know. Yeah. It was like a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And you played the role of Lou, so good. Right? I've I observed mm -hmm. that play. Golly. Oh, <laughs> They're moving away from that one. Look, look. You've already shown us you can do it. Can you do it again for us, please? Watch how that... Whoa. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love what? Her <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. 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 What'd it say? I was a man. Maybe it was the same shadow figure you guys saw last night. Hello, someone over here talk to us closer. I want to hear you and, and come touch this uh, device right here on the table. Come on, you 
on, you can do it. What? Guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the uh, Necro for just a minute. There's a couple of videos that I actually have not been able to edit completely and put out to you guys because Jen and I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> um, guys, if you want to see those videos, I told Patty today, I said, you know what, y'all need, you need to put them out as a special treat yeah. because that stuff was funny. You guys are going to be laughing so hard. And shout out to all of my friends here tonight. Appreciate you guys being here, being supportive. Thank you. Love you guys. So, um, we had such a great turnout this weekend. A lot of people showed up. We had probably, I didn't even count, maybe 40 people. Was it? I, I it was quite a few. It, was, it could have been more. We should have, we'll have to do a head count. And <laughs> <laughs> what did you do now? There was a lot of people. And, uh, count those heads. People flew in and drove <laughs> miles. Where's the head? to come here and meet up with us, which was <laughs> so amazing and such an honor. That was pretty cool. That was amazing. Oh, oh. again, I love this is going with it. Whoa, what is it? What is that? It's uh, temperature and it's also like fluctuations and stuff. Oh. It's going crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, right in this area. Wow, they're right here in front of us. Do you guys still feel cold? Yeah, yeah I'm freezing. I, like, I feel yeah. a little bit of a draft. Yeah, it's like a breeze right here, but it's not. And the number right here. Wow. That's insane. And mine is beeping like crazy. Swallow. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I'm laughing over him. For the first time in your life, swallow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I heard it. Do you guys hear anything? Did you hear it? This one? This one. There you there go. go. Whoa! So you're not supposed oh. to be able to hear that? No. No, well, that, that one that you can. Is. That one you can. Oh, I hear it. Oh that my god. Oh. Oh. oh my god. That's <laughs> that makes me feel <laughs> icky. What is that? Another one. It's oh. going to different okay. frequencies. Whatever that one was, it spiked that all the way to 6.7 milligauss. Wow. So this is a supersonic one. Okay. Um, but the one that caused Emmy's leg to get grabbed was this one, which would be the ghost frequency. And this will play for 12 hours. It's supposed to trigger paranormal activity. But I don't know where my actual dog whistle is. You just had it earlier. It's probably on another table. Wow. It's going. It is. Yeah, this one last night. I didn't know he was doing that one. And that's when he turned to me. He's like, I just touched the app. That's crazy. Look, guys. <coughs> is it still doing it? Of course, as soon as I turn it around, I said, look, guys, nothing's <laughs> happening at all. Until I look at it. And then it's crazy. What the heck? I'm going to pretend I'm looking at it, but I'm really going to. Really? Oh God, Mel gets his toys underneath. are going off. <laughs> <laughs> it's colder under the table. She's hiding under the table. She likes to. Oh. Yeah, that's why I picked my legs oh, up. My goodness. Are you gonna grab my leg? Hey, Lee. Lisa and hey, Rebecca. Hey. But yeah, it's cold in this one spot. K2 meter is going crazy, guys. Mine, wow. is, mine is not as sensitive as the other two. I mean, you have to really get on that sensor to make the EDI go off. Mm -hmm. But if you could try even just for a brief moment, right in front of our cameras, I would so appreciate it, please. <gasps> oh my 